these guys representing here in the top four? Uh, right, we see. have. Yeah, uh, Mike with some really strong regionals finishes and uh, also part of the Hyperloops, which does a lot of articles and things about Star Wars Destiny. And then, of course, Edwin, Galactic Qualifier at PAX 6 and 0. Oh, so Good chops from both these gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, that's coming forward here into the top four. One of them is going to go on to the finals. Absolutely. So faster play here and, and, and maybe a little bit less of an opportunity to stop Mike's attack dice if he gets his combos off. Right. Um, the uh, the alternative is, however, given that it's it's so, um, it's really kind of a hit or miss deck. Obviously, for Mike, it's been hitting. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't say that it hasn't. Uh, but you know, Edwin, Edwin's got some fairly consistent damage faces. Consistent and damage coming through. Kylo's ability going to be hitting pretty well. I'm going to call yellow. Mono ye yeah. I'm going to call yellow. Seems like a safe safe bet. Yeah. It is, of course, up to Edwin. I don't want to backseat uh, pilot him here, but yellow. I, I would call yellow. Uh, that that does, of course, put Mike on a timer. But, uh, again, this is where it hit now or miss. second chance gonna is going to maybe extend that timer, but there's not a lot of other healing or kind of extension opportunities with yellow, right? No. What he's looking to do is get a blaster <coughs> on Sabine, roll out Sabine, roll out Ezra, deal 10, 12, 15 damage in one go. Um, whereas I don't, I don't know that Edwin, barring like crazy good rolls, he yeah. doesn't have that kind of potential. And even, if, just even if he does, there's a window there for Mike to interrupt it with some of the, the yellow control. Because yellow has such a great control suite. Uh, entangled, the uh, easy pickings, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and then... So just getting the the headphones thing resolved, straightened out. Mike wearing a pair of headphones. We we presume they're noise canceling, but we just need to make sure he's not got anything pumping into those headphones that uh, he shouldn't be listening to during the match. Like our dulcet tones, or your dulcet tones and my tones. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks like they'll be up and running here very soon. Again, this is still best of three. They're both looking over each other's deck lists at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, or Mike is looking at Edwin's, and Edwin has stepped away for the moment. I have a chance to review. The uh, thing to remember, if you guys are just joining us, if you're seeing us on the front page and tuning in to see what is this stream about that you've got 3,000 people watching, this is Star Wars Destiny. It's a collectible card and dice game from Fantasy Flight Games, a tabletop games company out of Minnesota. This is our world championship, so we've had... For the various games we make, about a thousand players from around the world come out to Roseville, Minnesota and compete all these last five days. And this is the culmination for this game. Uh, the top four here, one of these two will go on to play for the championship uh, in the next round. There are two ways to win. You destroy your opponent's characters or yes. you remove all of their cards from their deck and from their hand and <coughs> survive through the round. Uh, of the ways that these gentlemen are looking to win, <laughs> uh, destroying their opponent's characters is far more likely. Neither of yes. these is a mill deck, uh, the discard deck. And they have their dice. That's where you get all of your damage faces, uh, your shields, your resources. And then you have a, car, a deck of 30 cards as well that will allow you to modify those dice, play upgrades to get additional dice. Yep. Um, so yeah, an upgrade would be like a lightsaber or a blaster or something like that. In, in Mike's deck, those upgrades will be blasters. Yes. In Edwin's decks, those decks, those upgrades will be lightsabers and things like Force Illusion, which can remove uh, damage, Absolutely. prevent damage. So we've got Kylo Ren and Anakin Skywalker on the one side versus Sabine Ren and Ezra Bridger. Those are characters from the Rebels TV series if you are up on your Star Wars lore. All right, and then just looking through these deck lists here, Mike, with this deck that has just <coughs> been crushing through the tournament, he's got two Hidden Blasters, two X-8 Night Sniper Blasters. He's got two DH-44 Blaster Pistols. Now, all of these have uh, Ambush, as does the two Holdout Blasters that he has. He it's does a have lot of opportunities to get Sabine's kind of god roll off there with no chance to stop it. And that ambush means that you get the extra action yes. when, after you play this card. Uh, he's got two running interference, which we said was part of the combination. Uh, once you 
take an action, you can remove that card from the game to prevent your opponent from taking the same type of action on uh, the next turn. Uh, two Mazas Vaults, it adds resources because these cards are more expensive. Yeah. Uh, two Never Tell Me the Odds, which sets up the combination. Two Hyperspace Jump. Hyperspace Jump, which we've seen now with a couple other matchups. Uh, it's a great card. It costs you three resources, but say you have a very fast deck like Mike's, you can roll in, do your damage, then play Hyperspace Jump. You end the turn right there before your opponents had a chance to really ramp up and get all their, their cards and dice going for the turn. You know, so. and then given the way that there's <coughs> not much healing in Mike's deck, you might just never, you might hyperspace jump just to get out of a bad uh, phase. Correct. Yeah, if, if uh, Edwin here rolls in with a monster roll, Mike can jump out and just go to the next, uh, next round. Other than that, a lot of control options for the most part. Yeah, we have... Uh, one copy of Entangle, two copies of Easy Pickings, one into the garbage chute. The uh, handshake, and they're going to get the clock started, and we will see. We are fighting on Edwin's battle. F wait, we'll see which battlefield we're going to go for here. They're going to roll off for this here. Yes. So just three for Edwin. <coughs> Sabine can get that on one die. And she, she doesn't, doesn't but, but does still get the win on the roll off. Going to go for the so Rebel War Room, which Mike is the battlefield that uh, Edwin brought. Mike going for the shields and all of it on Sabine. She is the centerpiece yes, to this deck. Yes, the linchpin here. Uh, Rebel War Room, of course, lets you resolve a die not having to pay the cost, correct? Now here, uh, Kylo Ren gets an Ancient Lightsaber for the first move in this turn. It's a great start for Edwin. Uh, I see, let's see, a Hidden Blaster, a DL-44, Lothcat and Mouse, Running Interference, and something else in Mike's hand Just there. Just rolling an Ezra here first. Ezra, good to roll out and have uh, you know, either his special or his disrupt, sometimes threatening, if uh, Edwin wants to take any more resources. Well, it also allows, if uh, Mike has one of those Ambush Blasters in his hand, it allows him to re-roll Ezra's dice before, before he plays it. Discard the blaster to re-roll the dice, then yes. play it with Sabine from the discard pile. Absolutely. Normally, cannot play your cards in the discard pile, but Sabine's ability specifically allows it. And we're showing four damage on Kylo Ren with two and a, and a or a five damage with a plus three side on the ancient lightsaber, but he yeah. does not have the resource to pay for Kylo's face at this time, and cannot modify that. Modified site so can't apply that modified damage until there's base damage. So Mike gonna just discard, discard. to re-roll. Exactly. Setting up trying Ooh, to wow. get. Wow, that's all pretty good. That that's three damage there. right there on Ezra. And then he's gonna get the hidden blaster on his next action with rolling <coughs> Sabine and resolving a whole bunch. It seems pretty good. Enraged to get a resource, so Anakin taking a first damage. And putting five damage online for Kylo Ren. Now that that money's safe, uh, knowing Ezra's probably not going to get a special or the disrupt. Lothcat and Mouse. Remove one of your opponent's <coughs> die and force your opponent to remove one of your dice. So expecting that Sabine can provide a base damage there, he chose to remove the plus two. Probably the right move. He'll save you more damage in the long run. Mike's because you're still. just tuning in, this is Star Wars Destiny by Fantasy Flight Games. This is the World Championship, the top four. Mike's going for the, the, the plus three. three. I think that's smart. Also forces Edwin to pay for his damage if he wants to get it. Yes. Yeah. One of these two gentlemen will be playing to be our World Championship here later this evening against the winner of the other game. And Edwin applying that damage right away. So he took off the shields by calling yellow, and now he's uh, done additional damage. <coughs> so here's the Sabine Bean. activation. Playing the Hidden Blaster from the discard pile. It's got Ambush, so he's going to roll in and then still have an action to resolve if he'd like. And, and that's not what Sabine wants to see. Well, he'll take the reroll. <coughs> Whole lot of discard. Or disrupt, I should say. Oh, it's still and more. more of it. So that's uh, the other thing that Sabine can do. Does it not roll the damage? That's why the Never Tell Me the Odds is in here. And here, this is what we were talking about. 
Anakin, Kylo going to be far more consistent. We're seeing just the melee damage coming in, but it's coming in in, in bits and pieces. Yeah. Here's three damage to Kylo Ren. And he's got a DL44 in his discard pile, which he can uh, overwrite with the hidden bl from the hidden blaster next turn to both get a die removed and roll in. Now we heard Edwin just ask how many cards does Mike have in hand because he knows that Mike can discard to re-roll a certain number of times, and he's weighing his options on how he wants to play out what he has in his hand and showing on his dice. That's got to be good for him. Two damage there with no resource cost. And I am notoriously bad at seeing if Anakin... Anakin does have a resource cost at his two damage there, so the Rebel War Room yeah. could be used to resolve that for free. Or otherwise he has to take the resource from the other die. But then they would get removed, presumably. Mike's going to discard Vandalize and roll into a little bit of damage here. But Now, the other card in Mike's hand was uh, a running interference. That's not going to be discarded. No. In fact, he's going to... He's going to end up... He's going to end up keeping that. So that was Doubt, forcing him to either uh, re-roll right. that die and either resolve it or remove it. It's the blank. cannot be resolved. has to be removed. So now Mike could have... Pitched that card, he could have discarded it to reroll <coughs> his die. Opted not to do it because you can set up 10 or 12 damage that can't be blocked, or you can do a chance at 2 to 3 damage. Yes, our other two top four decks, there is a kind of a hybrid vehicles deck, and then Mads won that. So Mads had, remind me. Mads had Ray and Ayla. Ray and Ayla. So we've got four different decks in the four top four here. Uh, yeah, we're seeing a lot of blue characters, uh, these force users. So hyperspace jump, second chance into the garbage chute. Great target for Ezra to remove some damage. Uh, another DL44. Well, now the, the great thing here is he can, he can go ahead, and as soon as uh, Edwin rolls in, he can overwrite his holdout blaster with a DL44, remove one die, activate Sabine, remove another die by taking the DL44 from his discard pile, overriding the one that he just puts down. You can't overwrite twice in a round now. You can't. Remember? It's a one Never overwrite mind. per round. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> he could, however, uh, overwrite with the DL44. Then or he can overwrite with the second chance. You can do that. Uh, you, can do, you could overwrite with the DL44 and then pull the Hidden Blaster out to go in with two guns on that roll. Right. He's bringing in... Uh, placing some kind of reminder on his card that he has now used his overwrite, mm -hmm. which was something that was added in a recent uh, FAQ. Yeah, that was mainly to stop somebody like the original Ray from the Awakening set. If you just cycled several ambush uh, ambush attack uh, ambush upgrades on her, she would just build up additional actions, and you could just use those actions boom, 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 to resolve modify five your actions dice, resolve your dice. Yeah. All right. So now we have <coughs> Kylo Ren rolls in. Showing, again, four melee damage. Not bad. That's not what Sabine wants to see, but he's glad he put that second chance down. And picking yellow and going to hit it. I mean, I'm going to assume he picked yellow. Yes. Can you turn the table mic up again? He, he picked mel yellow because uh, Mike just took two damage off of showing a yellow card. So now we know that we know that Mike has gone through, and, and while it looks like he's <coughs> far behind, the, the ability of his deck to just turn around and do damage in one big hit. Now, he does not have the resources for never selling the odds, so yes. nor I don't, do I think he has it in his hand, but he'll be looking at that soon. The FN2199, yes, also a huge reason that that errata was made, uh, because you could just play weapon after weapon after weapon. Now... Being you know a person of of, of taste and gentlemanly, I, I never played F in two one nine nine. I was more of a Ray guy myself. <laughs> so I'm fairly certain you <laughs> took that to like some staff challenges back in the day. <laughs> no, 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 no. And must have played like I don't know five of those upgrades in one turn because you had five cards in your hand and they were all upgrades. <laughs> all right, so now we have um, Ezra's going to resolve his damage. <laughs> Ezra's done more damage here than Sabine. This is not what Mike wants to see. And Kylo Ren's <coughs> got that Ancient Lightsaber so he can heal. 
Uh, put that back down to the bottom of his deck to remove two of that damage. Yeah, Frozen Potatoes, if you are playing Destiny and you open a pack, you will always get the die that matches your card, so you'll never end up with one without the other. Uh, the things that have dice are usually characters or weapons or vehicles, kind of the bigger things like that. A lot of things will not have uh, dice associated with them. Those will be events or uh, usually less impactful things. All right, now we had, we had uh, last year's World Champion talk about this uh, Sabine Ezra deck in an mm -hmm. article that we had on the Fantasy Flight Games website a while back, and he was talking about it, it's a great deck when it hits, and obviously Mike's been able to manipulate those odds in his favor, but right now he's uh, running into the part where sometimes it does not fire. On the plus side, he's got plenty of weapons in his discard pile here to pull back out with a Sabine activation. He's going to need them. As he is staring down a uh, fairly healthy Anakin and uh, Kylo Ren with some healing. Now he's starting to show some... Yeah, Sabine gets some damage finally, but going to be oh. hidden motive, and if that comes back up damage, it's gone. And removed. So, so the first damage we've seen on Sabine die just got removed by showing damage again. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kev uh, saying the game seems to be dead in Germany. Well, we do have several German players here competing, including one. We just had uh, Tobias on the stream not long ago. Just knocked out in the top 16. So look around. There are definitely people in Germany and Europe as a whole playing this game. <coughs> I'm sorry you were just a little too late to cheer him on. He could have used it. Uh, Edwin here, who is actually playing Mike right now, he was the one to knock Tobias out. So you can blame him for your for your countrymen. All right, so now we just saw Edwin put his Ancient Lightsaber down to the bottom of his deck to heal up Kylo. He's looking at this, and he's thinking, well, Kylo Ren had six damage. That was six damage away. It is too easy for Mike to, to get six damage in one and burst. And boom, in a way he cannot stop it. And then he Lightsaber pulls a Ancient Lightsaber back, so... He's ready to go for if he needs to heal again. Well, he'll need a couple actions for that. And the, the question is if Mike will be able to get that action that he wants to get all together in the very first action. Yeah. So I see Hyperspace Jump in Mike's hand. He's got two cards there. Now, this is three. a best of three. It's, it's important to note this is a best of three. If if Mike has not been getting everything that he's been looking for so far in this game, he has uh, potentially two more games to, to get that if this goes against him. And we saw in our last match, we saw um, Mads uh, change his tactics after the first game against Matei after he, he took a big hit in the opening round and then clawed back and almost won but still lost that. And then Matei stuck with his tactics and the, the changed tactics seemed to help Mads changing where he played his upgrades. Okay, here comes a truce, so we're setting up ambushes. Yep, so Mike does have a hyperspace jump in hand. If he needs to jump out because um, Edwin rolls great, he has that option. And he's also setting up resources for the next turn with this Maz's Vault. Yeah, he still hasn't seen that Never Tell Me the Odds, so he's got to be looking for that to come up soon. And right. let, let him get the knockout punch quite, quite potentially on Kylo Ren. This deck, when it goes off, it goes off big. All right, and so what are we seeing on that? Just one melee damage. Calling yellow again. Oh, and he misses on that one. Yep, there's the M1 gray card in that. Actually, two gray cards with Hidden Blaster and Into the Garbage Shoot. So, so we're, we're looking that was at good for Mike. Mike is looking to see. I, I have to expect, yeah, he's going to... He's going to hyperspace jump as soon as he sees enough damage showing or even the potential to for a card Sabine. play to take out Sabine. Absolutely. Uh, we know Edwin here does have... He, doesn't have no, he has two no mercies, so Mike needs to play, play around those no mercies. No mercy, of course, two cost. You resolve a dice showing melee damage or I think range too, but in this case melee. And you can discard cards in your hand, uh, blue cards, and each one of those will add to the damage. So potentially like a seven attack right out of the gate. 
So, how many cards does Edwin have in his <coughs> hand right now? I don't know. I, I not, can't see. Probably not a threat this turn, but something to be aware of. Well, Sabine has four health left if but no mercies in. So, the DL44 comes out. Big roll here. And man, Sabine just not giving the base damage sides. At this point, do you almost just take the shields? Knowing that you, you need to roll damage, but you can burst so high, you need to survive long enough to get there. Yeah, I don't know. Mike's being smart. He's keeping those gray cards to just kind of keep the odds of Kylo Ren's ability triggering as low as possible. You know, now, by play, playing yeah, the holdout blaster, to discard and go for the reroll. But he played the holdout blaster, which is notable because he cannot play that hyperspace jump this turn. Yes. So he's going to be taking whatever is rolled. Just three damage there on the dice. Not really enough to threaten either of Edwin's characters. I think Edwin did remove one of those dice. Kylo's blank. With the DL44. Yeah, the yeah, DL44. Yeah, chat was just asking. Hyperspace jump costs three, so... Uh, by playing the blaster there, he did kind of put himself in the situation where he's going to have to. All right, now Edwin deal just played an turn. ancient lightsaber and he put it over on Anakin rather than putting it on Kylo. Uh, this way, he's kind of ensuring it'll stick around longer, allow him to get more use out of the damage faces rather than thinking about the healing. So Edwin not blocking with the Force Illusion, just go ahead and take that damage. He's got uh, cards in six left on Kylo. Two. Well, that Force Illusion can no, potentially. Five. That Force Illusion, Edwin knows how the, the Sabine Ezra deck works. He, he knows that that Force Illusion can be as much as if it's two modified sides on Ezra, a modified Absolutely. side on a DL44, and then three from Sabine. He can be canceling ten damage from that rather than just mm -hmm. three. If you're just tuning in now, this is game one of the best of three series between Edwin Chen and Mike Jem. There we go. Get some damage. So he's showing, showing four, four, not that, quite enough that to that shield. That shield is the one shield keeping Sabine <laughs> in the game at this time. He is just only a reroll away, although he has two, That's three cards. A resource in his hand. cost on the Anakin die, and Edwin has it looks like two or three cards in his hand with which he could reroll. Mike's really got to consider here. Now, what's his best play? Going to take that resource, prepare for next turn. Yep, eight damage there. Two more uh, melee available. Mike very quickly corrects his choice of token there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. All right. So curious. He could have just claimed and. No, no. Uh, Mike had already oh, claimed. Mike claimed. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Lost track of that. <coughs> so Mike will be looking for um, his other. He already used. Mike's just looking for some rolls on Sabine that are not just. Terrible. He's got five resources. He's got a hyperspace jump in hand. He's going to go ahead and draw four new cards. All right. What he would really love is to have six resources, enough to play something and and get that so hyperspace jump. So I think jump. I saw, yep. Oh, never two never told me the odds. Well, well, when it rains, it pours. So the, the question will be if you hyperspace jump this turn, and, and try to get in some damage to set up. Never tell me the odds, because you, you can't afford to lose Sabine. No. And she can shoot yeah. once, and she could finish off uh, so with one character. So with a DL-44 in Never Tell Me the Odds, she can kill Anakin. Right? 3-3-3? Three, three, and three? Yep, she's going to be able to... Well, uh, there's... Can't activate. Can't activate a character. 
So he's not doing never time with the odds. He's, he's saving for hyperspace jump. So he's taking right. the uh, the conservative mood move. So I can't activate. Can't not activate. This means a ten. She's ten. And that will get him up to six resources in the next turn. <coughs> then he's gonna jump out before. Yeah, he's gonna jump out this turn right now. Oh no. What was the kill there? Uh, the cross guard. The cross guard deployment. Oh, man. Cross guard, one damage from Kylo Ren. That's, that was a very good heads up play from Edwin. Mike thought he had him locked out here and could yeah. jump out. But uh, if you're Mike, do you just scoop here and go to the next round? I mean, like, is there, is there a chance that Ezra can finish this off? No. There, I don't think there's a chance Ezra can finish this off. There, I don't know what advantage he has by playing it out just to see more of what Edwin had his hand. I know he, he got to look at the deck list, but sometimes you just want to sure. see how your opponent plays things. Uh, so people wondering what happened. Sabine had 10 damage on her. Crossguard lightsaber when it's played on Kylo Ren, it does a damage to a character. So since running interference had locked out the character activation, couldn't use Kylo's ability for the kill, but playing the cross guard was a great way to get around that lockout. Okay, now and secure the kill. He's played the uh, the <laughs> night sniper blaster on Ezra. It's got the ambush that so gives him an extra action, and so he rolls two? Ezra in. So yeah, it's three ranged. He's showing three ranged. That's a dead Kylo at least. Uh, and provided there's nothing in that interrupts that. Yeah. But then he's got. Ezra, now Ezra is at full health, but against Anakin, who's nearly at full health and has some healing on him. So calling yellow, trying to get the two damage on Ezra here before Kylo is taken out. And he does. He gets it. Never tell me the odds. So Kylo eliminated. Mike's going to play it out. I mean... With another gun, he's got a chance. He's got never told me the odds. Two wearing an EV. <laughs> that can still be at six damage as is. Um. One more gun puts him potentially close enough to do it. Just slower than with the if he does it with Sabine. <coughs> so now the the issue with trying to finish it off with Ezra is that he can no longer get those blasters out of his discard pile. Yes, and there's so a lot of them there. There are a lot of them there. I don't know how many are left Oof. in the deck in hand. Is that a plus two? That is a plus That's terminal, and so he's got to jump out. Hyperspace, hyperspace jump to end the round and stop that and god he, roll. And from he changes the battlefield Anakin. with it, going back to his battlefield. If he's playing faster, he sure. has a chance to get an extra resource. The resources are so valuable and a in that card, deck. Correct? Yeah, a card draw and a resource. Uh, and the resources are so valuable now because he, he's going to need to pay for things like more hyperspace jumps if he's going to keep Ezra in this. And Anakin has two lightsabers. One of them has <laughs> sides that modify the, the dice up to a plus four. You look at... And a power action lets you roll it back in. And you look at how big a plus four is when you see that Ezra only has five health remaining. <laughs> He's not going to need to use it twice if he gets to use it. <coughs> All right, so we roll an Ezra first action. And... Well, that's not uh, not terrible. But he can't afford to just change that. Oh, no, he can't afford to change that because he can't get enough to finish off Anakin, and he needs to have some kind of way to escape from what Anakin will be bringing. Correct. So since those are both modified faces, he doesn't have a way to actually deal the damage. Those two cards that were not handed over for the discard, those are the hyperspace jump and the running interference. They're not technically in the discard piles. They are set aside after being used, so they cannot be recurred. And Edwin just rolled four more damage. Oh, with good removal there. Um... Easy picking is a great card. Let's you remove two dice showing the same number, same symbol. So the power action, as we discussed, lets him pay a resource. Roll Maul's lightsaber back Was in. That the That's plus, a plus four? four. Yeah. He can hit a base damage side here. That's game. 
Still just the first of three, though. We're coming up on the one-third point in this uh, this timer. Uh, Maz's vault is in play here on Mike's side. What is, oh, he's spending a resource with the Night Sniper's ability to... Yes. Oh, man. Just getting punished for it. So he does one damage? No. No. It was, was overconfidence between the two, and it was uh, re-rolled into a disrupt. Well, he <coughs> removed Ezra's die, which was the blank, I believe. So it was zero, effectively. Just yeah. put it back yeah. on the card as a one. So it's three damage there. And we've got nothing to stop it, it looks like. Yeah, the Intimidate's not going to help Edwin. He can't get... Yeah, Mike's got a second chance, but he but wants to at least that's use showing the lethal oh, until... Hasty exit. Oh, jeez. Mike's got all the answers, but just barely. <laughs> Hasty exit chance. removes a die and gives his opponent control of the battlefield. Yeah, you can only play it if you already control the battlefield, so... It's a situation where Mike's speed really pays off. I'm looking. He's got what, two more cards to re-roll for he's, that. I think he's wondering right now which guns he could possibly draw to get him up to the ability to get lethal with the Never Tell Me the Odds. But Talking about Mike over here. Yeah, he's cards. looking through his discard pile. Right. Edwin's looking at a close quarters assault. I wonder if he's thinking about should I use it or does... How many cards does Mike have in his hand? He's got a he's got a stack of them. Mike's only got two or three. But Edwin trying to figure out if he I mean he's got to reroll that lightsaber for looking for damage to set up the mall saber. So So uh, Tyler Tinsley asking is this is a dice game, that so conceding is, is not showing, very common. Showing so he's gonna overwrite the yeah, overwrites the second chance and stay in the game. Uh, conceding will definitely happen if somebody thinks there's no chance. But in this case, you know, Mike obviously thinks he has enough of a chance that's worth playing out. Because uh, this is best of three, so if he can somehow squeak this out and then get a quick win so with Sabine, he, he's got this. No, he just claimed he has no more actions, but... Uh, got the resource. He's going to go into the next round with four resources. Yes, because Mazvalt's he, add an additional one to the two yeah. they normally get. So he definitely wants to have the money to jump out if needed, because he's got it in hand. <coughs> he's got impersonate, not going to help him. Lothcat and Mouse. So the question is, can Mike out. can Mike deal? So no jump. Eight damage to Anakin before Anakin does damage to Ezra. The five damage. It's only two of the eight needed. So that was the heal on the ancient lightsaber I did not see there, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Here's an heirloom lightsaber comes out. Edwin's setting up his pile of dice. He's going to be rolling four dice in. Uh, Mike can still jump. He's got truce, which is ambush, so he can truce and then immediately hyperspace jump out if he needs to. I expect that will be happening at some point. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a good chance. Three damage showing. Three damage. He can survive Not quite that. lethal, but he's got to think about it. And what other can cards? Do it, it now or wait? <coughs> I think it's the Lothcat. <laughs> nope. He's just going to say, no thanks. Not yep. today. Yep. So another easy pickings. Pretty good. Hasty exit. Entangled and didn't see that last one, but oh, it's another holdout blaster. So no more hyperspace jumping for Mike. They are staying right where they are. Here comes out another holdout blaster. Did he, he just hope pay for a big three roll for that? Nope, he paid two. He had no money, got three, paid there two. There you go. So those Ezra specials. Uh, they would f they would take money from 
Edwin, but not really the, uh, That's the not what he avenue needs. to victory right now. No. Earlier in that game, when it could have set up a, a play on the next turn, it would have been great, but he, he's not likely to get another turn. He's got some decent removal. Uh, and maybe even if you t if you use those specials to get the cash, he's got easy pickings. He's got uh, entangle. Now he's going. Now for, he's ooh. got the damage showing. He's going for damage. That's six, seven, uh, seven, seven, which is enough. How many cards is that? So four solution. solution has to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six cards in his hand. Six, six cards, cards in his deck. So, oh, but uh, this the is way, a close The way one, damage guys. resolution works, we've got uh, it has to be resolved. Each die that does damage resolves separately with the modifiers applied to it. <coughs> so if he could make it all seven on one die. If he could make it six on one die, but that would kill the entire deck and put no damage through. Right. So as it is, he sets up to do three, three, and then draw out the the discard for four. Yep. Now that leaves him with no money for. Just did two. He just did two. I think he's, he's looking with Lothcat. Oh, for the Lothcat. The Lothcat. Yeah, yeah. He has to have a card to be able to. He has to have a die to remove. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. This is uh. This is why this is why Mike is in the top four. You can tell. He knows when this game is lost, and it was not lost yet. So he's staying in. So here you can put. So now you're gonna play the on the two, Yeah, on the two damage. Or hasty exit. He's actually got two removal options right now, which is fantastic for him. Two. Oh, sorry, Judge. And there was the hasty exit. Yep. This is, <laughs> this is, you can see why Mike is, why Mike is sitting here. Edwin, no Ed, Edwin is still looking at that close quarters assault, wondering when he's going to get rid of a, a card. He's got to go look and see. What are the odds of that other card he's sitting on is a loaf cat? Why did he not resolve that die? It's kind of a giveaway, I think. If you're not resolving a die for damage, you re you're holding it for something else. Yes. And Edwin is... Uh, Could yeah. be guard if it's melee and you're in that kind of deck, but in this case, I think Lothcat's the prime suspect. Mike is down to his last card in his deck, it looks like. Doubt that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so this is going to get rid of this is going to get rid of Mike's last removal for Yeah, I almost wonder if using the Lothcat first. Oh, but now he's got easy pickings. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a big pass. What? So then Mike just passed. What? Goes back to Edwin. Oh, oh. can't easy pickings those. It's a plus no. three on malls. Yeah, it's uh, what's that? Six damage. That There's is enough. Lothcat, easy pickings. Scoops. That's it. Yep, that was it. Game one goes to Edwin. Close though, much closer than I think people were thinking uh, at the start. I, I was impressed with how well he used Ezra there at the end. Yeah, I mean Get Ezra in. did all of that work himself. Sabine. <laughs> Only there to give a little nudge along. Okay. We're impressed with how he used Ezra throughout. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. So we are going to see uh, the round two game here. 57 minutes left. Going to get right back into it with these guys. And as the defeated player, I believe Mike gets to pick the battlefield. Right. I imagine he's going to want to go ahead. Yeah, that was some because fantastic play on both sides. <coughs> Edwin just coming through, just chipping away with all, I mean, not little. They're just not as big and swingy as the, the huge combo plays. Yeah, but a big Sabine hit. 
consistent plays, being able to trade. Uh, you know, part Absolutely. of Star Wars Destiny is that, that back and forth that you expect. I get one action, you get one action, I get one action. And the top players, they learn how to compress their actions and get uh, chains of multiple actions uh, using things like that ambush and using abilities oh, the like guns Sabine's. come out. Uh, and, and Edwin's deck just took advantage of every action. Wasn't really compressing them, wasn't pulling them all together, but was just making sure he always had something to use to, to keep the advantage. Started with the advantage and just kept playing and holding on to that advantage. So if he can, I mean, the thing with Sabine, the Sabine power combo can absolutely one-shot one of these characters. Absolutely. Uh, particularly she gets, Anakin. She gets one or two upgrades. She get, Well, one upgrade, she can do nine damage that can't be, can't be countered, can be really. Yep. It can, be, it can be blocked by a force illusion for one-third of your deck, but uh, you can't disrupt, you can't change it with the bit. card play <laughs> when the combo goes <laughs> off. It was We're definitely uh, closer than Edwin wanted it to be there at the end. We're hearing Edwin and Mike talk, and Mike's talking about how he had a lot of cat. It could have been dirty. Could've yeah, the, the doubt play by Edwin was fantastic. That was a very good call. Although it could have still bit him with the easy pickings had he re-rolled into you know, two of the same symbol and number. Uh, so Mike had not dropped around, as far as I know. Uh, Edwin had dropped one... Edwin came into two, this because Tobias won one of those. So I Edwin think came into this Edwin uh, matches a fourth seed in the top games? sixteen. Uh, yeah, so Mike was also the number one seed, performing They're amazingly. I love you. Yeah, and they, uh, the number two and number three seeds uh, have both been eliminated from the top sixteen already. Uh, the other people still in top four. Uh, Mads was the number six seed coming in the top sixteen, and where was Joe? Joe was number seven coming into the top 16, so. Yes, so all in that top half. All in the top half, although um, Mike is kind of, well, Edwin was also advantaged in his, in his matchups. Yep, absolutely, so we're gonna see the battlefield just picked here by Mike. Two. Mike just uh, drawing two new cards. Edwin looks like uh, going to only he's get rid of the lightsaber four. pull. So he's got a hand he likes. Hey, how's Joe doing? Now we saw in, in the last round um, with Mods and Matai, we saw a change in the opening tactics. Now, I don't know what kind of change we can see in the tactics here. <laughs> 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 well, go. well played. Uh, tournament regs do specify that sleeves are mandatory, but that is only referring to the cards in your deck, not the players. So he is free to flaunt it. <laughs> Just kidding. <coughs> She's definitely not watching. She doesn't care. <laughs> it's right. going to be another. I mean, this has potential to be a lightning fast game. If Joe can get the Sabine rolls, yep. he needs. And Edwin here we see has shuffled uh, the deck. You, you don't want... You don't want things to fall into place for your opponent's combo. Absolutely. What do you mean? Just like, were you playing that? Like, you pack one deck? Yeah. Same. Pretty friendly banter here. They're both saying they, they just packed one deck for the event. So they had the confidence going in that this is what they were going to play. None of that night before jitters and wanting to switch. Playing through side events with the same deck. All right. Edwin starting it off. Binds all things. It's great first round play, as we've seen multiple times in this event so and far. Mike stuck with the same tactic, giving his opponent the battlefield and taking the shields on Sabine. We are down to under an hour, folks. 52 minutes. His pitch for... Shadow Lightsaber on Anakin. Pitch for nothing. Shadow Lightsaber, a, a fairly decent card on its own, but uh, fantastic when you get another lightsaber. Um, Starts adding a shield or taking away a shield every round. Every time you activate. So he called a uh, gray, it looked like. So he had pitched uh, some yellow cards. Timidate will take both shields off Sabine.
and getting paid Mike so he can the play resources. the uh, DL44 if he wants. Two more damage to see. <clears throat> so Kylo's done everything he can, and now it's up to Anakin. But X8 Night Sniper being played on the discard pile. It's got ambush. And That's a go. better roll. So that is five. That is four. Yeah, four. Okay. So Significantly better already with Sabine's two. dice than uh, in the previous round. And nice to have that uh, Ezra special out there threatening if he needs to take money to resolve any of his dice. Right, and both Anakin and Kylo Ren have a, a paid yep. uh, melee face that they have to use a resource to resolve that face. And he re-rolls into the pretty much the same also thing. Also lets you use Loaf Cat too, so great to have out. Claim steal it. And stole the money using the special. Rebel War, Rebel War Room allows you to resolve one of your dice that has a resource cost if it doesn't, and it doesn't need to be paid for, but you can also use it for a regular old die. And by claiming the battlefield, he gets to activate first in the next round. So Looks uh, like in our other top four match, uh, Mads has won the first game. So a little update for you guys trying to follow along with both. So what do we got here? Loafcat, hyperspace jump in case he needs it. More guns. Now he's, he's just drawn the uh, hey, hidden That's blaster, good. which removes the shield. So he'll be able to play that on Sabine. Um, and then Edwin's got to spend that it. money or lose it. Can just load up Anakin here. Okay. Now, what is Mike considering here? He's Mike's just, I think, thinking if he wants to reroll those specials because they're not likely to come in very handy, and he can pitch another gun if he needs to. Right. He might be, He's as we see, he's holding a bunch of those. He might just be weighing which one he would toss out. Yeah, he's got out. three guns and then Lothcat and Hyperspace. That jump. hidden blaster that he's staring at. We see him uh, looking at a hidden blaster at the top of his stack. That's almost certainly going to come to the table to remove the shield mm -hmm. on Kylo Ren. It's a wind plate effect on the hidden blaster. lot of pondering going on. Nobody wants to go too fast, uh, like we saw with that snare play uh, with Tobias, and get punished for it. Okay, so he, he did overwrite uh, Night Sniper with the holdout, and he's, he's doing that without a die to remove, which is what he was really considering. But Ooh. it lets him do six damage before, before Edwin has any chance to react to it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was another four. He had a shield. He had a shield. It was oh, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so a plus two and a three. Right? It was. Was it a plus two and a three? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, DL44 yes. doesn't have it. It has a plus three. two. Plus two. It was five damage. You're right. <coughs> and calling yellow. And gets it. Sabine taking two more damage down to eight health. Kylo, of course, for health. Think that uh, Mike wants to get that Kylo ability turned off as soon as he can, because that keeps him. Uh, well, and now Mike has those three resources this game, so that's enough to. You know, he's taking another resource. This this is control to. Oh, and and you look at the the Kylo Ren face. It's a paid it's melee. The side. And he's got the resource to get it, but as soon as he yep. takes it, Ezra's going to take it away. And, I mean, Mike's sitting on a loaf cat and mouse, so that's a great thing to have those dice sitting out there for. You know, Mike's got, oh. Mike's got options. He's also got a hyperspace jump. But he, he's able to use it binds all things to get force solution for free. So that's going to make gonna it gonna harder to take out. out. So gets his licks in, and no more Rebel War, Rebel War Room. Thanks. It's now the outpost. 
Outer Rim Outpost. So the claimability now is gain one resource and draw a card. And he just claimed a resource? Which uh, Mike is definitely going to take advantage of. So did, did Anakin even, Anakin didn't activate no, that round. No, he didn't get to. The hyperspace jump just cut him off right. at the knees I mean, there. That's, that's a good way to prevent four dice. Seems like uh, Mike had the high ground there. Just going faster lets him have a little bit of options here to, to get through. Now he plays. Let's look at this. He, he was playing a, uh, a night sniper blaster. And he does. He does. So there's a lot of potential damage there from Sabine. Not so much. A little bit of a bummer there from Mike. But I'm sure Edwin is breathing uh, breathing sigh of relief right now. Uh, he could theoretically take away the resources if he wanted. I don't think that's the play. Reroll. Getting better. Yeah, it's not 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 a great trade to you know spend one of your resources to take all his money. Uh, Mike has too much use for his cash with all those cards he wants to play. Oh, good deal. This guy. Yeah. So doubted, resolve it or remove it, and since it's a blank, it's out. He hasn't rolled in Ezra yet. He's taking his time with Ezra. I think Mike accepting this turn is not going to be his big damage turn, so. <coughs> and Edwin here has just just loading up Anakin. Figures that's the guy he's going to need to carry this one out after Kylo takes Certainly. the damage. Some of the uh, folks joining the stream wondering if this game is hard to get into. Uh, I would classify Destiny as a very easy game to learn, but tough game to master. These people you're watching play, some of the masters of the game, they have made it through opponent after opponent to get to the top tables here at the World Championship. And it is a collectible game, but as we've seen, um, this Kylo Ren is from a fixed starter set. Yep, as is Anakin. As is Anakin, the fixed product at, that you know that you'll get those cards and, and their dice in that product. Yes. And we've, we've seen that those cards, those dice are as competitive as anything contend. in tournament. As we can tell, Edwin's one game up with uh, these characters that you can expect to find. Mm, missed it again. Called yellow and hit the ne the end of the garbage chute. Uh, those are big for Mike because that that damage yeah. does add up really fast. He doesn't he doesn't have any healing. He has uh, and there's the end of the garbage chute reappearing. Ezra not going to roll in this turn. Just uh, doing removal. Just taking care of the damage. Looking for that damage. He really needs to get some pressure on Sabine, and it's just not adding up. A little bit there. It's two damage, no resource cost, if I'm seeing that correctly. Two damage? Yeah, I don't see a resource cost on that. So we're looking at three damage on the dice. Uh, Edwin's still got, looks like, a couple of cards in hand, so he can re-roll those other dice and hope to add up, get additional damage. Mike claims he gets a resource, he gets card draw. Three resources are vital for uh, a lot of what Mike wants to do. Yes. His, his combos, key off of having three resources. Now, he doesn't have any healing, but we just saw him draw a uh, second chance, which could potentially save Sabine uh, as she gets low. Instead of being defeated, he would discard the second chance and re recover five health, which he's going to need fairly soon. As he's looking at five, Oof. seven, eight. Oh, he claimed that. That should do it. Yeah. That. 
The claim, always risky. Once you claim, you are unable to respond to anything your opponent chooses to do. Yeah, and he had the, he had the second chance had in the second his hand. He had the second chance in his hand. He wanted that resource. That may cost him his spot at the top table here. If Edwin can capitalize and take out this unarmed Ezra, that's game over for uh, Mike Get Mike Jem here. Yeah, that's that's a lot of work to ask Ezra to do. Ezra doesn't have anything on him yet. Now, I mean, no. we've said this before, <laughs> but he <clears throat> and Ezra's getting Ezra's not wasting any time. Well, he can get rid of the force solution, or he can pop keep the force solution, or you know. Feel your anger. That's uh, count how many blanks are showing, and then remove that many dice. Uh, Tyrannus, if you looked away, you missed a great roll by Anakin here after Sabine had claimed, or after Mike had claimed. So Sabine died. No chance to save her, despite a second chance in Mike's hand. Yeah, and Anakin got all of his dice with the the roll and the re rolls, uh, eight damage, which was exactly what he needed to finish off Sabine. Mike took a gamble, just thinking that those dice that weren't showing enough yeah. wouldn't roll out, and he'd be able to get another action or two. And Throughout yep. the tournament, those gambles have paid off. This time, it did not. We are now looking at uh, you know Anakin being able to roll in with three different lightsabers. He's going to generate two shields himself and potentially enough damage to just wipe out Ezra. Well, and Kyle hasn't even activated this turn, so he's going to be able yep. to call probably yellow. Let's see if there's a yellow card. Do another two damage. So Mike does pick up a resource there off the doubt on the Ezra die, resolving his special to steal the money. Ooh, vandalize the Force Illusion. I like it. But Mike's now pretty much stuck dealing with whatever comes up. Hidden Blaster. Missing on Kyle's ability again. Okay, he overwrites for the second chance. So he will be able to survive this turn, most likely. I don't know. That th yeah. there's, no, there's no way to, to destroy him. I mean, max with the dice damage guys. is what, eight, eleven. He would need to be able to do twelve. You could. I mean, he can. He has to roll pretty much perfect. He has no resources. Yeah. He's got no resources. He's he's. Oh, there you go. Ah. I think Mike said he has to make his flight, yeah. so the handshake, knowing it's a pretty rough situation for Ezra there. Edwin Chen going to advance to the top final table. Brutal for Mike to go out on that, just yeah. thinking he could live and make it to that next screen and just got deleted by Anakin. That y You make those calls and... and uh you look at the odds of what the dice are likely to roll. You know there are a certain number of damage faces showing. You you know your opponent has a certain number of cards in their hands, and the odds play out. And Absolutely. You, you make your calculated risks, and then sometimes those calculations are just a bit off. Indeed. I mean, Mike had that go in his favor game after game after game coming in here to this top 16 and even performed, you know, great all the way up through top eight, but at the top four, uh, finally let him down. So we are still waiting. The other game is in progress. That's Mads and Joe. Yep. Uh, we know Mads picked up the first one, so I'm not sure where they stand right now. But it's going to be Edwin Chen versus either Mads or Joe. Uh, we are going to be shutting down the stream briefly so that we can archive all the stuff that we've shot today and have that stuff available as video on demand for people who want to watch it later. But we'll be back very soon with our Star Wars Destiny final match. That, that should be exciting here. Yeah, we'll figure out our champion. We know we, know we have uh, one. We know Edwin. We know it's that, that Bill deck. Kylo and uh, Anakin deck. And then we know Mads is running Ray and Ayla. Yep. Joe's running a, a sort of a hybrid vehicles deck, it looked like. With, so. with heroes. So yes. it will be heroes yes. against villains in the finals. Yeah, so yeah, guaranteed. So please stick with us. The, keep in mind the stream will shut down briefly so we can archive the video, and we'll be right back.